Hi everyone, let's continue to look at the question 9. x1, x2, blah blah blah, xi, blah blah blah, xn is a sequence of the independent run, uh, <coughs> random variables. y n equals to the sum of the uh, xi, which is 1 to, the, 1 to the n. Prove or disprove that y n is a Markov chain. First, to determine if a process y n is a Markov chain, we need to check if it is if it satisfies the Markov properties, which states that the future states of the process are conditionally independent of the last state, given the pres give the present state. In other words, for a process to be a Markov chain, it must satisfy the following condition: p y n plus one equals to smaller y n plus 1 y n y n smaller y y n minus 1 smaller y n minus 1 blah 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 y 1 equals to smaller y 1 right this is equals to p y y y n y n right let's consider the process y n y n is sum of i n x i right y n plus 1 sum of i to n minus n, n plus 1 x i right so we got that it is equal to one plus x n plus one. Oh, uh, sorry. Since x n minus n plus one is independent of x one, x two, blah blah blah, x n. We so. We have the conditional properties P Y plus one Y N smaller Y N Y M minus one Y N minus one blah 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 Y one Y one Alright since it is independent, so we can have the conclusion. We can have the. Uh, these formulas are actually equal. So, p. Plus one y plus one. Y n y n right. We can see that. It is a property of the Markov chain. So through this, we have the conclusion that the process YN satisfies the Markov satisfy the Markov property. We we can conclude that Y N is a Markov chain. So we prove that the Y N is a Markov chain. We finish this problem. Thank you.